All right, in this episode, we help Joseph Brasher on his pitching mechanics. And how mass equals gas. All right, Prince Porcio, Stephen Godani here at the at Top Velocity hashtag Pitch and Tip Show, where you go to Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, or Snapchat. Ask your question, anything on pitching, anything at this point on baseball, and we'll answer on the show. Excited, a lot of questions here. Come out to the ABCA convention in Nashville. We'll be there at the King of the Hill booth, hanging out with uh, Zinger, uh, John Heisinger, David Ardsma, Kevin Schultz, maybe Justin Ottman. Um, if you don't know these guys, you're not watching the show, okay? Uh, so watch the show, share it, subscribe, all those great things. And if you got questions, guys, keep them coming. We have a lot, so we decided to start doing two an episode. So we gotta go quick, because we don't want this thing to be too long. So here we go, what's the question for today? Joseph Brasher asks, I'm at week 16, how are my mechanics looking? Any help would be great. Okay, I'll show this video here while we're talking. You know the one with Josh Brasher, you said you liked what he looks like. Okay, I've looked at it. Josh, you know, you've been down to camp. It's a great set of mechanics. You're just, you're, the performance in your body is not there. So think about it this way. Um, you know, it's like, you know, we all want to throw like Chapman, right? And, and a lot of us do. Problem is a lot of us throw like Chapman in a light pin at 85 miles an hour. So if Chapman was throwing 85 miles an hour, he'd look like you, uh, Brasher. So that's a compliment. You look like Chapman, but at 85. So what does it Chapman do to crank it up to 95? He moves faster. He takes those same set of mechanics and he moves more explosive. He just goes boop, and he, and he picked up the speed a few milliseconds through the delivery, and that cranked it up at 10, 10 miles per hour. Um, you know, there's a, a well-known uh, approach out there. Uh, I don't know if it's a, an approach, but a pitching instructor named Dr. Mike Marshall. I get a credit for him for uh, an equation he took uh, from Newton's law, acceleration equals force divided by mass, and uh, basically found out with a five ounce baseball, it, uh, if you're throwing it 80 miles an hour, if you want to increase it by 10 miles an hour, you just have to apply more the same amount of force on the ball for 0.2 tenths of a second longer. 0.2 tenths of a second longer, same amount of force, so that ball you're throwing at 80, you're not throwing 90. So that's what I'm telling you is, yeah, we can get there in uh, obviously that equation and getting more time, which is separation, which is uh, more external rotation, which is more stride length, more time, right? But I want to take a both both approaches. I want to get, I want to take more time, and I want to put more force in that a short amount of time. And that's pretty much what Chapman does. So if we look at that 85 mile an hour throw, or yeah, that 85 mile an hour throw that Chapman throws, when he cranks it up and he puts more power in the lower half. That opens up the trunk a little more, that lays the arm back a little more. There's the time, but also at the same time that gives us more force. Okay, so that's what I'm asking of you, Josh, is now in your in your in your set in your movement, we've got to get more force in the ground more explosively to open your trunk up a little more, lay your arm back a little more, and that's gonna jump up your ball speed with the current amount, the current set of pitching mechanics you have. So don't go out and change something, just keep hitting the strength and conditioning program, the fusion system, and work to those goals that we've set, and it's gonna to start to happen for you. Anything you wanna to add to that? Yeah, Joseph, just sounds like you gotta move faster, man. Now comes the fun part. Turn yourself into a beast, man, let's go. You're gonna get it. All right, I don't know how we're gonna do this. We're gonna answer another question. Uh, we'll, just, we'll just go, let's see what happens. I'm gonna give this one to Steven. Cass Kreitlow asks, is there an optimal body fat percentage for muscle gain and or velocity? An inclusion of MXA equals FNET would be helpful. Steven? Yeah, man. Uh, I don't get why people are getting so concerned about the body fat percentage. Look at CC Sabathia. A guy could weigh almost 300 pounds and could do a 360 dunk. Do you think the mass times acceleration factor in there equaling force helped him? I think so. He has 300 pounds and being able to 360 dunk, that's an incredible athlete. So if you're a big guy, 
and you can move that fast and still get your range of motions and that's all going to start translating to velocity but if you're if you're a big guy and you're not moving it fast then maybe that's something where the body fat would start to be a concern look at somebody like Pablo Sandoval um, he's not a pitcher but everybody's been really concerned about his weight even since when he was on the Giants because when he gets fatter he gets slower and it, it's just the power's not there he starts getting hurt and weight kind of comes becomes a concern so if that's happening for a pitcher then yeah weight is going to become an issue but if you're getting faster um, and you're putting on weight whether it be fat or muscle and you're still getting faster that's just going to equal more force so that would be a good thing so that would be my answer on that right it's, and it, it, it makes a good point is if you look at the major league uh, fat percentage actually someone did a study on it just for health reasons the reason they use uh, professional baseball to study uh, basically body fat uh, they looked they wanted to see if body fat let led to a higher mortality rate so they use baseball because baseball has this kind of data going farther back into time than any other source or organization and they found that baseball players of course there was a link to body fat and mortality rate but that baseball players have more body fat or have a good amount of body fat something's like you know 13 percent on average or something like that it was a high amount of body fat in baseball players so um it's something where i like mass i like when big guys walk in here i love it when big guys walk in here because they typically throw harder and it's easier to get them to throw harder and typically speed is hard to influence i can influence mass more than speed and sometimes you'll take a big guy and you'll make him lose weight and he didn't go any faster now you just took more yeah. mass from him now he throws CC slower Sabathia lost right. weight or you or, lost, or lost you lost take weight. someone who's really really fat and they lose weight and they do go faster but you know whatever they go faster a little bit i don't know mm -hmm. i haven't played that equation up but every time i play with it the more mass i add to a guy typically the harder you throw so while I'm a guy. maintaining speed yeah and, yeah or because, increasing speed. because we don't focus on pure mass we don't focus on hypertrophy we focus on speed and and power and if the body has to get bigger to move that power because it is strength mm -hmm. behind that then i let it do that and then that's the mass we like because that's mass that was added on to move power and it's mass it's just like the icing on the cake a good way of thinking of it is so he's saying like speed we can only influence so much there's not much more we can influence with the speed so if you have a guy capped out with his speed and you start adding mass to that and he's still keeping his speed he's gonna start moving faster he'll start running faster throwing harder he's putting more force into the ground right right you know what i mean look at running backs running backs are incredibly fast and big guys you know so mass doesn't always mean slow it doesn't mm -hmm. a no, lot of times mean slow Power. Now, now we've got you know linemen in the NFL running four fours, yeah. four fives, uh, crazy, uh, right? Four, 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 five. Really? No, four fives. Really? Seriously, I think there's there's been a nose guard run four five. Are you something. serious? That's uh, freakish, man. Tell me if I'm wrong. Maybe a four six. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna say between four four, maybe four four is probably too bad. Say four five, four six. I truly believe we've had someone in the NFL on the line running that fast. I'd be curious to see JJ like JJ Watt's a great example. 200, yeah. 290 pounds in the combine. I think he jumped a 37 inch vertical jump. So that's just right. So obviously mass weight. isn't hurting their speeds no. and their power, right? So it shouldn't do it for us. At the same time, too, you know, some guys staying lean, uh, you know, they work better. Their body can get more range of motion. You know, but be careful getting in caught in the conventional wisdom of all this and, and just. Uh, understand that it, 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 of course, every body uh, is going to have its better, its own little combination of what works between mobility, uh, mass, and speed and power. Okay, and, and you're always going to try to find what works best for you, right? Doesn't mean everybody right now needs to go out and get fat. That's not what we're saying. No. It's just saying that don't think that same thing. Don't think that fat's like bad. Uh, just learn what's best for your body and find the better combination. Right? One, one more thing. There's uh, I don't know how true it is. I just read one time that uh, sumo wrestlers they they started looking at you know sumo wrestlers just eat and just get super fat and they started looking at how much of that fat was actually turning the muscle. And I was reading something that they were saying that even though they were getting really fat, something like 60% of the weight that they were putting on was still turning into muscle. So it's the still same kind of thing like people worry about when they're trying to gain weight like oh I'm starting to get fat like some of that fat is good and it, add, it adds to the mass and not all of that fat it, like not all of it is going to turn to fat you're still going to be having muscle growing in there if you're lifting weights and eating a ton of food so a little fat is is good don't be afraid of that it's actually healthy yeah okay. all right so good questions if you have a question go to Twitter Facebook Instagram on that uh, at top velocity hashtag pitch tip or baseball tips that's what we're just gonna do we're just gonna open this up Pitching tips, baseball tips, there's too much going on now. This is obviously growing really fast. A lot of questions coming in. So pitching tips, baseball tips, whatever you got, throw it at us. We'll answer on the show. We'll see you on the next episode. Yeah. Holla, holla. Holla. We them boys. Holla. We them boys.
Tschüss.